On this episode of At The D Spot, we're making a pastelon or Puerto Rican lasagna. Let's go. For a full list of ingredients, be sure to check the description box below. So pastelon is a Puerto Rican lasagna. And instead of pasta, we use the sweet plantain or the maduro to make our layers. And then we top them with meat, cheese, and bake it until it's gold, bubbly, and delicious. We have our frying pan on medium heat, and now we're gonna add our three pounds of ground beef. Halfway through cooking our meat, we're gonna drain it and just let it sit in a colander for a minute. We're gonna add a tablespoon and a half of olive oil to our frying pan. Now we're gonna cook our vegetables for our meat mixture. Now we're gonna add our green pepper. Next, we add our garlic. After your veggies have been cooking for a few minutes, it's time to incorporate our meat back into the pan. Now it's time to season our meat. In this container, I've got adobo, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, sazon, and Italian seasoning. Next, we're adding our homemade sofrito. Next, we're adding our salad olives with pimentos. Now we're adding our fresh cilantro. Next is our tomato sauce. Now we will just cover our meat, let all those flavors marry and get happy together for a few minutes. And it's on to our bananas. Now it's time for us to cut our sweet plantain. And these sweet plantain bananas are gonna act as our lasagna noodles. We do not use pasta in the Puerto Rican lasagna. Make sure you pick the plantains that have the darker spots. Those are gonna be sweeter and they're gonna make your pastelon way more delicious. We're just gonna cut down and make a long strip. You should be able to get four of these per sweet plantain. Guys, these sweet plantains do not have to be cut perfect. No one's gonna see them. They're gonna be part of your layers. Okay, everyone. So our meat is cooking. It's already smelling incredible in this kitchen. I can't wait. We've cut our sweet plantains. Now it's time to fry. In our frying pan, we have vegetable oil that's at a medium high heat. And now we're going to start placing in our sweet plantains to fry for a few minutes. We'll fry our sweet plantains for just a couple of minutes till they're nice and golden. Now we're gonna taste our meat to see if it needs any additional salt or seasoning. Perfect. 
Okay, everyone, our plantains are fried, our meat is done. Now it's time for us to assemble our pastelo. In this bowl, we have three large eggs that we're gonna use to help us bind our pastelo. So now we're gonna take our nonstick spray and spray our baking dish down. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of our egg mixture to the bottom. And what that's gonna do is, the egg at the bottom is gonna keep the plantains together it's gonna bind them so that we have a nice solid base for our pastelon. Now we take our sweet plantain or maduro and we add them to the bottom of the pan and just make a thin layer. You can use more ripe plantains in your pastelon if you want. Now we add our meat. I prefer more meat and cheese and just a little bit of sweet of the banana. Bit more of our egg. Wash, just a little drizzle. Now we add our mozzarella cheese. And no, your pastelon is not gonna be eggy. Our next layer. I was inspired to make this dish by my Aunt Lucy, and she adds green beans to her pastelo. Now we're gonna top off our pastelo with cheddar pepper jack cheese with jalapeno. After assembling our pastelo, we're gonna cover it with some aluminum foil. So we pop our pastelon into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. 30 of those minutes are gonna be covered and 15 will be uncovered so it can get bubbly, golden, and brown. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. Wow. Our pastelon is golden bubbly we're taking it out of the oven, but we're gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes before cutting into it. Mira se pastelo mira. Mira se pastelo mira. Okay, everyone, we are back. Our pastelon is done. This kitchen is on fire. It smells incredible in here. And you know I already can't wait to try this. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Oh my goodness. This is so good. I'm going through it because it's been a minute since I've had some pastelon. And oh my gosh. The meat is so savory and flavorful. I'm loving the bits of the olives in there. The sweetness of the banana, the nutty creaminess of the cheese. Everything together, this this pastelon is incredible. If you've never had pastelon before, you have no idea what you're missing. You have to try this. I need another bite. Mm. This is a must try. This is the recipe for you to try. If it's one of the recipes that I want you to try first, it's this one. 
Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of At The D Spot. I'm Danny, and remember, be good to one another. We're all connected. Till next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Come and go with me. Look at this. Puerto Rico lasagna, Barcelona. Mmm.